Okay, so what would happen if we put today's ultimate MLB all-star team, American League and National League combined, the best players at the position, and against the MLB all-time all-star team? I'm going to give you my 2019 all-star team, and then I'm going to put up the, my all-time MLB all-star team. Now, obviously, we're going to be leaving out a lot of good players. I mean, so this could easily be interchangeable. But um, let me see. Let me, I want to know what you think. Okay, this is my today's 2019 MLB All-Star team. Okay, a little elevation here. Okay, first baseman Freddie Freeman, second base Jose Altuve, shortstop Francisco Lindor, third base Nolan Arenado, left field Christian Yelich, Yelich, center field Mike Trout, right field Mookie Betts. Okay, and I, I'm doing two DHs, okay? Um, Aaron Judge and J.D. Martinez are the DHs. And the catcher, J.T. Real Muto. So you can interchangeable, you know, you can plug in guys and um, mix that lineup around, but that's a pretty ridiculous lineup, okay? Um, I like the two DHs, just either play half a game, but let's say you're playing a, a <clears throat> five-game series. Who would win three out of five, okay? Now let's go to my starting rotation. Number one, Max Scherzer. Number two, Garrett Cole. Number three, Clayton Kershaw. Number four, Justin Verlander. Number five, Jacob deGrom. You know, and I left out a bunch of guys. Walker Bueller, like, left out a bunch of other pitchers. But this, to me, is a, is a pretty ridiculous top five uh, rotation. All right? Now, you know, one lefty in there. The rest of them are righties, but absolute dominant pitchers. Okay? Now, bullpen, Josh Hader, lefty from the Brewers. Will Smith, lefty, who's now with the Braves. Aroldis Chapman, another dominant lefty. He's got three lefties in the bullpen. And then Blake Tierna from the Oakland A's as the closer. This, to me, I think would be a pretty well-balanced and strong team. you got power. you got speed. you got contact. you got guys who can you know, go from first to third on a single, go from first to home on a double. You have a good dominant rotation. But all, pretty much all of them have playoff experience. Um, and they're all number ones in their own regard. Okay, so you got five number ones in a rotation, and you have a ridiculous bullpen. And the um, lefties are pretty dominant uh, in this modern-day uh, baseball. So this is my 2019 team. If your team's different, put it in the notes down below, in the comments down below. Let me, who, let me know who you think might be a better fit for a certain position and whatnot. Now, I'm going to take this down, and I'm going to put up my all-time MLB All-Star team. You tell me who you think would win. Okay. First base, Lou Gehrig. Second base, Jackie Robinson. Shortstop, Ozzie Smith. Third base, George Brett. Left field and leadoff hitter, Ricky Henderson, all-time stolen base leader. Center field, Willie Mays. Right field, Babe Ruth. My two DHs, <laughs> Ty Cobb and Tony Gwynn. Okay. Uh, I had to fit Tony Gwynn in there at a certain point, or t I had to fit Ty Cobb in there as well. Um, you know, I want to have the outfielders, but if I can have the outfielders and those guys <laughs> in the lineup, oh my God! And you, you know, you talk about you, you lead off Ricky Henderson and you put a Ty Cobb or, or Tony Gwynn behind him, and then Babe Ruth and then Willie Mays, and like, oh, and my catcher Ivan Pudge Rodriguez, okay, um, probably the best defensive catcher in the history of baseball, okay who would be really well positioned to handle this ridiculous starting rotation. Number one, Randy Johnson. Number two, Greg Maddox. Number three, Roger Clements. Number four, Nolan Ryan. Number five, Pedro Martinez. I mean, I left out Sandy Hofax, Bob Gibson. I left out, I left out a lot of guys. Steve Carlton. Um, there's so many other guys that I could put in here, but it's you only get five in the rotation. In my bullpen, Goose Gossage. Billy Wagner, who was a ridiculously dominant lefty in the 90s and the early 2000s. Dennis Eckersley, and the greatest closer of all time, Mariano Rivera, the Sandman. Now, you tell me who you think would win. I think it would actually be a competitive series. I think the all-timers would win a series. But you know, the reason why I have some of these players is because if you look at my 2019 team, it's a lot of speed, there's a lot of contact hitters. You need guys like, you know, uh, Willie Mays who can run down <laughs> gap hits in the line, and you need guys like Tony Gwynn who can drive guys in because the 2019 has good defenders. It's got fast players. So 
It would be a very athletic, I think it would be a very high scoring series. Um, actually, high scoring series, not every game, because with certain, with, with some of the pitchers, if it's Randy Johnson versus Max Scherzer, it might be a one nothing game. So, um, but I do think it would be probably the most competitive five game series or seven game series um, that I could ever think of. And um, let me know what you think of this team. If you have different people, you know, put them in the comments down below. Let me know if you think the 2019 team would win. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm obviously missing players on this list, too. It's just it's too hard to put together the ultimate all-star team because there's so many good Hall of Fame players. I mean, you could easily put Alex Rodriguez at shortstop instead of Ozzie Smith. You can have a power bat in there. But, again, a lot of those fast guys, you need a defensive wizard like Ozzie Smith to run things down and dive and catch balls and stuff like that. You know, and look at a double play combination, Smith to Jackie Robinson to Lou Gehrig. I mean, it's pretty crazy. So that's my opinion. Either way, I would watch every single game. If you enjoy videos like this, click the subscribe button and click the bell next to it. I have team by team breakdowns of my predictions of what I think they're going to do in the offseason. Um, I have MLG, MLB free agent predictions. I've got uh, predictions for the contracts. Um, two videos on the Houston Astros cheating scandal, one the initial one when the news first broke, and then another video on what I think is the appropriate punishment. Okay, I'm going to put some down below in the, in the description, um, but I highly encourage you to watch this channel. If you're a baseball fan, you need to subscribe to this channel. Okay, You're going to get a lot of good videos. I post videos either every day or every other day, and um, I still have a couple more teams that I'm doing as per request. If you have any specific requests on videos, put it in the comments down below. I try to accommodate all requests. Okay, And... Um, this stuff I love doing, so and it's a little bit of a break from doing team by team breakdowns. Okay, I'm going to be back tomorrow with more team breakdowns. I still have to release the Chicago White Sox. I have to release the uh, Atlanta Braves and a couple other teams that I, that were requested that I do. But I've already done Yankees, Mets, Phillies, Dodgers, Cubs, Red Sox, Diamondbacks, Pirates, Tigers. I've done most of the teams, and um, so if you have any requests, drop them down below. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, keep watching the channel. I'll talk to you next time.